Tomorrow and this weekend, it's going to be an absolute blast out yeah. there. Organized in May of 1971, CFA Society Indianapolis is an association of local investment professionals. And now, in 2023, it aims to host the largest Midwest financial conference from the grounds of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Nice location. Premier investing minds from around the United States will descend on the Pagoda Plaza at IMS on May 16th to network and learn and experience the energy of the Speedway in May. With more is our guest and friend Luke Zhang. Welcome. Thanks for being here, Luke. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. It's always nice to be back here. Let's start off by just talking about CFA mm -hmm. and, and, and what it is and, and what its goals are. Sounds good. CF, CFA stands for Chartered Financial uh, Analyst. Think of it as, you know, personal finance, you have CPAs, right? They handle your account, accounting stuff. For CFA, they look at the companies, look at real estate investment, they look at banking, think of Wall, Wall, Wall Street. Okay. Yep. Uh, we know that our very own sports director, Wish TV sports director, Anthony Calhoun, is going to moderate this. Yep. But who do you guys have lined up as far as speakers go? Because you have a pretty good lineup. Yes, we had a phenomenal lineup. We're very fortunate to bring in the uh, Secretary of Chambers uh, come in. Uh, he's going to give an opening remark. We have the CIO of Bridgewater coming in, give a talk. And don't forget, you know, like you mentioned, the greatest sports anchor of all time, Anthony <laughs> Calhoun, is going to host the event and host a talk talking about race and everything race-related financial benefit of IMS. I, I think you've already partially answered this question by outlining your speakers, but why is an event like this of interest to, to us everyday Hoosiers? Yeah. For the record, I'm not a CFA, I'm a just data scientist. I personally am interested in finance. For a lot of people, people think, oh, Waffle Wall Street, they're so far away from my life. Uh -huh. But the truth is, we all, our personal finance, all tied up with the bigger picture. How is you know, Fed going to change the interest rate? Is the housing market going to go crazy again? With CFA events like this, we get all the information so that it can benefit your personal finance. Uh -huh. How does this help? Because I think it could be intimidating, right? Anytime mm -hmm. you're talking finances and then you're, you're bringing IMS into it and, and all of this, how can this help anybody and everybody? Yeah, just like I mentioned, right? You go in there, we have CFA people there. They're going to talk about the real estate. They will say, okay, given the interest rate keep hiking up, maybe now it's not a good time to start thinking about a bigger house. You want to wait it off. Here, that's a piece of information you can take home and talk to your wife, your husband, your significant other, thinking maybe it's not a good time to go into the real estate market. That's just one, one example. Another example I can think of, everybody has a 401k, IRA, right? We all invest in the stock market. And then the CFA people, they will analyze how the stock market is doing. And then by getting those information, we can benefit ourselves thinking, maybe it's not a good time to buy into some tech company. Maybe it is. Right. Um, and I, I wonder uh, t to what extent and I, I realize you're a scientist, but to what extent do you recommend um, that, that I bring some arguments and questions to, to my financial guys? Because I, I'm guilty of sort of just turning everything over to them, assuming they're smarter than I am. Uh, that's a great way to phrase it. Uh, first of all, we do have to trust the professionals to do their job, but it doesn't hurt to have an open dialogue to discuss about it. The more information, I think a great person once said, knowledge is power, right? Sure. So the more you know about it, the more uh, knowledgeable conversation you can have with your personal finance person and say, okay, maybe I've heard this, what do you think of that? And just like you know, everyday life, when we purchase a car, we want to know everything about the car. And then when you're investing in your personal life, you want to figure it out what you want to know. Uh, briefly, you're a graduate of Rose Holman Institute of Technology yep. over in Terre Haute. You could have gone literally anywhere. You could have gone to Silicon Valley, anywhere, and you chose to stay here in Indiana. Why is that? Uh, one, uh, this is a great, great, great question. Uh, I believe the state of Indiana. I think as a Middle West state, we have a lot of things happening, happen, and I want to be a part of it. I want to make, make a bigger impact, just like the CFA investment form. Okay. Super smart guys no, sticking kidding. around in Indiana. We like that. <laughs> Luke, thank you so much. We appreciate you and your time. Uh, all the information you need for CFA uh, is going to be on our website, indiana.tv. Luke, thanks again, man. I appreciate it.